Well, let's keep going with Gangster's Organized Crime. Yeah! Still got about two more hours left in this session. We, uh, we haven't had too much luck finding Orange, but you know, that's okay. We're not in any particular rush if we don't finish this. If we don't actually finish this today, this will probably end up being what I broadcast on Friday. Also, my accountant is wanted for various criminal activity, like tax evasion. Uh, we have some money that hasn't been covered. We've been t so damn profitable with our illegal businesses that he's not able to cover all of it, despite having five stars. We need more legal businesses. Let's go buy more legal businesses. Okay, everyone, we're going to go. We're going to go shopping. I don't think I have enough business people for this, but damn it, we're gonna go shopping. Also, I think it's time for us to bribe the mayor again. Because we have the money on hand, and... No, the security team is perfectly intact. Okay. So it was just one of the exploration teams uh, that was walking across the city instead of using the cars. Just wanted to go explore. They got fucked over. <laughs> Ma'am! <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. We're running out of damn business people, man. So hard. So hard to get great business people. Five firearms? I'll just have you be a businessman. Because you have shitty intelligence. Not you, Whiskey, or Bobo. Lumpy here, I'm gonna have to say no to, and no one else. Okay. I the security team's still intact, though. They just would have been damn inconvenient otherwise. And I have a bunch of other people to play around with as we... Settle with exploring. So, we lost a number of people. How many people did Orange lose last turn? Eleven. Compared to my... Eleven... Twelve. And Green didn't lose that many. Yeah, Green lost a few less than we did. That's okay. If I were running a smaller organization, I'd certainly be paying more attention to these orders, but I... <laughs> Th this amount of size breeds complacency, everyone. <laughs> and the amount of money I'm making, just like, eh, you know, probably be fine. Okay, let's go buy some bigger businesses. We're actually just gonna buy the docks. Fuck it. Buy the docks. I don't give a fuck. We will control shipping. You see this apartment store? We're gonna be buying this too. Bam. <laughs> a department store is such a big ticket item, though, that it's going to be published in the newspaper. Speaking of newspaper... <laughs> we own the one up here. Let's own this newspaper. We gotta control the news, everyone. Don't tattle on Grimmith. No tattling. Only prattling. God, that was so dumb. <laughs> but I thought of it off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, finally... Let's go ahead and have someone donate here. Actually, not to Tommy Bank. Someone apparently has satisfied his lust for money. Change my mind. Just go export. I know, Lethal. We have... Lethal and I have been speaking regularly for so many years um, that we've just influenced each other's lexicons. Like, <laughs> like he has phrases that he likes that I fucking use, and I have phrases that I like that he uses. We've just, like, infested each other's brains. Along with some of our viewers, of course. Oh, man. <laughs> Neat. We'll stay away from labor exchange. I'm kind of nervous about losing. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm sure they'll probably be fine. Okay. Jelly roll, freelance, I'm gonna keep you folks spare. I want to find this base first before I invest any of these, uh, skilled and trained individuals. 
babe here is wanted by the law. Demon here? I like ya. You got potential, demon. You're gonna have Texas with you West side. I could be trying to deal with these hoods and, you know, either, like, sacking them or hunting down, like, the judges and the DAs and the witnesses for trial proceedings, but I feel mean, fucking... It's so hard to care about them and their little problems, you know? Like, I'm not being targeted directly by the police, right? So it'll probably be fine. I'm well hidden. They probably won't come arrest me. I trust my gangsters who are in jail. They don't have to worry. I'll get them out eventually. I mean, look at this most wanted list. Oh, who's on there? It's not me. Abraham Bullseye's on here, though. My goodness. Okay. So. The demons. Ah, yes, the clickening. <laughs> hey there, Can Lava. Chan has been fairly lively and active today. You're joining in during interesting times. I have lobbed some serious discussions over at chat over the course of this broadcast. Evolving perceptions and lenses, and I haven't done such a good job of actually playing this damn game. Let's go ahead and promote Kawaii here. Also known as TikTok. That's how you say that, right? It's not like Quay or Kawaii, it's Kawaii. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sadie here, also known as Creepy. TikTok there just changed outfits. Gummy. Weasel. The Wall. I'm not gonna buy more, uh... More Tommy guns for everyone. Let's let's not be that damn wasteful again. <laughs> hmm. I know, right, Can Lava? I know. <laughs> Summer B did note with sadness, and uh, a few folks have noted as well that uh, gotta wait until next week uh, for the continue for the for the, possibly the conclusion of the Mega A series. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad there's some anticipation of the moment, which might be greater than the actual moment itself, right? Okay, guys, I need you to look up and down this block. This is important. I need to know what's there. I need you to confirm for me. And fuck it, go through that block again, too. Even though, like, that entire section. You might have missed the office, damn it. This is important to find. We need to find this ba office so that we can hug him. Hug Orange. Hug goes. I know exploration is hard, but damn it. Figure it out, please. Huggles with Tommy Guns, that's right. Get into a gunfight, fail to complete your mission, make Grimma sad. Those are the rules. Look at how austere and severe I am. Austere, I don't think, would be the right way to describe it, but definitely severe. Austere would be if I was just wearing, like, drab clothing. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> there's certainly nothing austere about this money in the safe, folks. Stern, definitely. Grimma's not as good with words as he used to be. I've uh, mentioned before how, like, you know, if there has been one thing I've done a bit competitively, it's Scrabble. And the words and my ability to put them together just fluttered out of my head this past year. It's it's tragic. Stare at a Scrabble board and go, where did the words go? <laughs> Why are orange hoods dying there? Uh, that would actually be my hoods primarily, who are dying in this vicinity. Also... As I said, I'd be looking over here at the start of the week, and I tell you what, folks, when there's nine cars around a block, including three speedsters, each of which cost $5,000 a piece, that's the office. I could have gotten this answer had I just fucking looked over here sooner instead of trying to explore, but... 
He just got so involved in conversation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But this is a ten of it block. Hmm. How about that? We clicked on it to see who owned it, and it's Abraham Habersham. Ah. That's the leader of the Orange Gang, by the way, everyone. Business appears to be good. All right. We got a busy turn uh, this turn, especially with business, because I'm going to be investing a lot of my money to try and uh, cover up all of the money that's pouring into my organization, including this department store over here. Now, he's actually, Felix here, is paying $750 a week, uh, provided that someone comes to collect that protection money. So by buying this business, we're ripping that uh, from Orange and giving that to us. And uh, we might place a casino there. Casino is the the most profitable, largest, like, illegal business venture you can have. It'll be delicious. Okay, let's get this place running. Yeah, let's get this place running. You do it. I have faith in you. It's a shame we aren't able to enjoy the the idyllic soundtrack of uh, like the cars running and like the birds chirping and everything um again with the very specific and archaic way i've set this up to capture and record one of the things that's nullified is the cd audio i have all of the music tracks separately but i'm just playing like the jazzy ones that get played during like the menus instead of like the the scenery scenic ones scenery scenic ones also as expected so my gangsters have decided to get into firefights, and now they are being hunted. This is effectively what I did to Blue. You know, I'd get them dragged into a gunfight, and this is kind of what's happening with me and Orange, since we're at war with Orange. So you're not, they're not really doing great at their jobs because they have guns, and they're not that smart. They're like, we know what we're gonna do. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have this massive concentration of dudes around Orange's shit here. And we all walked in to scope it out. Status closed. <laughs> Fascinating. I presume that'll be revealed to us, that office there within next week. And even if it's not, we know it's there. We'll start targeting that place. Huh? I hear you, Maze Mouse. Oh, there we go. It got revealed. Good. Hmm. That's the office icon. Oh, we had some police over there. We had some police over there. <laughs> I love how those two officers were like, well, I'm not getting involved with it. Ah, oh, shit, I guess we have to get involved with it. Fine. Yeah, it's a lot of damn cars concentrated around there. It's Orange really hadn't decided to use them this turn, and I guess I'm also kind of sparing green here by all this combat and warfare. Allowing Green to effectively, like, lick his wounds. I'm curious, uh, ownership here. Uh, Green owns, uh, this newspaper up here, of course, which has apparently been the target of, uh, some harassment by Orange, because, I mean, it's so close to his territory. What are my options of dealing with this office, and how many of those are legal? <laughs> the most legal way I could go about this is to uh, blow up or torch the tenement block around the office. That exposes the office, uh, which greatly increases suspicion, which might lead to an FBI raid that arrests uh, Orange, the leader of the Orange gang. Of course, uh, <laughs> that doesn't really sound that legal, huh? <laughs> it's the most legal way I got. I could, of course, just try to muscle into this territory and him Orange in and prevent his gangsters from coming out and doing anything. But, and just like starve him out of resources, but that would take a long time. I'd rather resolve things a bit more quickly here. 
Of course, I have valuable business gangsters who are running these damn offices that don't make me money. But it's a matter of convenience and value. I could send, like, trash folks to be in charge of those offices, but I'm not going to try and micromanage that much. Yeah, totally. Bombing arson, perfectly legal. So long as you do it on Tuesday between uh, 4 and 7 p.m. <laughs> and what do you know? For me, today is Tuesday. <laughs> and it's after 4. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. What are you guys up to? Have you all been arrested? Or you're just waiting for hoods? You know what? I don't even care. <laughs> we found the thing that we came over here to find. I don't care what the hell you're doing. So much death over here from my hoods getting into firefights with the police. And with Orange. This is probably where Green's base is. Six speedsters. Each of those is worth five grand. You know, that's more than some families make in a year. If not multiple years in this game. Like, buying the family car at 3,000, that's enough of a hurdle. Five grand, though? <laughs> Green didn't start too far from the police headquarters. Again, like, Orange and Green got really delicious access to the commercial sections of the city. Like, I got stuck over here in industrial hell, which ain't that damn profitable. Like, extorting money from these places, like the department store, $750 per week, that's not bad. Nope. Oh, got another firefight. There's a fight going on over here. That's cool. At least these criminals are gonna stay alive. Looks like Orange just got into a firefight himself. Oh, dude, you might live. You might live this week. Unless you run towards me and my gangsters identify you. Yep, he's gonna make it. He's actually gonna survive the working week. Everyone clocks out at the end of the week. That's it. Like, oh, we're done. Starting close to the police department, I would consider to be a rough start, yeah. Uh, just because of how many police officers are going to be around your territory. You would probably really want to refrain from giving many of your gangsters weaponry, particularly if they were folks collecting protection money. Because with so many police officers around, if there is a firefight, the police will respond in force and hunt your gangsters down for the rest of the week. Uh, I consider that I'm pretty close to the FBI headquarters, for instance. Like, what little commercial base, like is next to me, has the FBI headquarters that I have the Lone Shark not too far from. That's not too bad, but there's definitely more police around there as a result. Like, one perk to the being in the industrial sector is there's not really police to worry about. Tommy Banks appealing for funding. Folks arrested. Newspaper notes that I bought the department store. Still maintaining my power. Uh, orange and green. Slightly adjusting their values. Assets? Mm. Territory? Eh, again, who cares? Manpower? I'm continuing to hold strong there. Crimes? Uh, <laughs> there were a few. There were a few crimes. There were a few crimes. But that's okay, because we got the information we sought, everyone. After we destroyed Blue, things have been on the up and up for us. And they're gonna stay up. Mr. Bullseye here is gonna be paid a nice, friendly visit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now TGIF makes so much more sense. Everyone clocks out. If they were hunting you to kill you, that ends. Everything is great. We're gonna pay uh, another bribe to the police chief. <laughs> Let's see, we actually lost money that, that turn by a significant margin. And of course we did, because we bought so many damn businesses last week. That's fine with me. 
I'm okay with that. That means that uh, all the money that we had that was uncovered is back to being covered. We still have 139 grand in the safe. Yes, controlling the media can, is also important. Like, public perception can make a big difference, not only for controlling territory, but also if you're going to run for mayor or deny someone the ability to run for mayor as well. Like, controlling public opinion and perception. Like, I purchased this radio station, and now I own two newspapers, and that's to put public opinion in my favor, to romanticize the good works I've done for this city, you know? And if I wanted, I could be trying to set up, like, soup kitchens and shit like that. I'm just... I'm not fucking bothering. Damn, this bank is still closed after what they did to me. That's okay, though. Like, I haven't set up any of these businesses that have been destroyed in front of the, um... In front of the illegal businesses. I'm just like, <sighs> whatever. So what if it's, like, more exposed? I mean, we're probably fine. Everything is great. <laughs> yes, the good works I've done. Think of all the statues I would build for myself here if I were playing Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Anyway, we found Orange's home. His place of residence. All is well in the world. Security team still looking strong. Let's go ahead and recruit all these hoods, put them in the pool. Anyone who's great at business is the devil here. The devil's a good businessman. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere, I'm sure. Homestead? Terrible organization, though. <laughs> Big tuna. <laughs> the work of the devil is fine work. <laughs> Alright. That's a few more businessmen. Let's see here. Are you suggesting I set up soup kitchens? Ah, uh, yes. All the places that uh, did have businesses that have been destroyed. What? Does this... What the hell is happening to these businesses? Like, this is something that I'm confused about in the game here. Like, these aren't being attacked. They're just suddenly emptying. Like, they're not being bombed. They're not being burned. They're not being smashed. Where are the businessmen going? I would need someone who's far more familiar with the game, because I don't remember this happening when I was a kid. I don't get what's transpiring here. Like, why did the business just suddenly pick up and float into the void or go into heaven or anything? This game is weird, man. It's not a problem, I, it's not something I recall experiencing, like, in the younger days. Unless, like, they really are being just, like, there's no criminal activity that's happened there, though. Like, I just bought that damn place not too long ago. My speakeasy still ain't being finished setting up. Like, no, like, if they went bankrupt, like, if they were losing money, like, that would just be a drain on my coffers. Like, they wouldn't vanish. Like, I own those spots. So I'm the one that gets their profits and their lack of profits. <laughs> It just, I'm just, I'm just baffled. It's just not something I recall experiencing when I was a kid. Again, you know, we're in week 53, so anything can happen, right? Like, even if people died there, I would just be told that no one was running the business. Like, there's no excuse or reason behind why the business is suddenly detonating. And just no longer existing, period. Like, that should still be a front. Like, is that gonna happen at the damn department store that I just got, too? Oh, fuck, it beats me. I guess we'll find out, everyone. I guess we'll find out together. I don't know. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know if I need to... Let's go ahead and export alcohol again. Let's see if there's anything else interesting to buy. Did we not buy the newspaper? I guess you just sort of, like, ran out of time or something, huh? Oh well. Folks got busy. We'll buy the radio station too. That'll that'll occupy our money. Might have ran out of time. Because there's only three cars in the squad. It's, it's possible we found a bug. 
That didn't exist in Gangsters 1.0, my CD of the game. Beach me. Whatever. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Because the illegal businesses make me more money, it's just, it's annoying. In, in reality, it might just be that uh, the businesses are being destroyed and I'm just not noticing at all. And they're not being reported properly as criminal activity because they're like hidden. Like they like the people who are destroying them might be private because I didn't have this problem around this area back when I had guards around here on a regular basis. But uh, once I took my guards away to deal with blue, that's when this shit started happening regularly. So it beats me, but even if that happened, the building should just, like, I don't know. Like, it should still exist, but I guess it, get, I guess it gets outright destroyed, and so it's like, you want to rebuild this or what? I mean, it's, again, it's, it's okay. It's not the worst thing ever, it's just it's baffling me a little. That's right, train. I love how I'm still trying to reserve gangsters for, uh, for other affairs. Okay. I'll buy you Tommy guns. This will be the last batch of Tommy guns I buy. Hole two. Okay, guys. And then finally, let's pull out those bombers. Whiskey. You're up, followed by Jelly Roll. You're up. And then Cougar. You're up. You really only need one person to do it, but we're, we're gonna have fucking four people on this team, damn it. We're gonna have the bomb squad here. Now, uh, emotes on beam are smaller than where you're accustomed to seeing them. Hitboxes, for example, are 40 by 40. Beams are 26 by 26. I've read through like their forums and like information and I've spoken with people and that's basically that, that they don't plan on changing it. They understand that it's smaller than other sites offer, but it's part of like their chat interface that they uh, want to maintain. I'm like, okay, <laughs> like that's fine. I get it. It's an aesthetic issue. I don't like, but fine. You know? Like, there are some quirks and things about Beam I don't like. But I still do prefer this site as a whole. It's hard to find something that matches everything you ever wanted in life. Ah, okay. At this point, I think I'm just keeping behind all those extra, like, super skilled firearms people to protect my damn office. Probably what's happening here. I guess I'm buying another two, uh. Another two Tommy guns? I guess. <laughs> That's right, Maze Mouse. Just have to do it myself. Man. And finally, the Bomb Squad. They can have themselves a speedster. Okay. You guys. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to walk in. And you're gonna kill whoever's there. That guy. Kill him. And then... Four more of you. Um... Ambush, I guess. Around, like, this block. And then two more of you go to this block. The demons. I want you to set the world on fire. I don't care about this being in public. I don't care whether you fucking die. You all are expendable as demons. You torch whatever, I'm sure, because some of you are probably gonna die. You guys, same thing. For there, this is the best way to get my gangsters into a building so that they can fight out with whatever guards are in there. And, uh, two. Just go there. Which leaves us with the bomb squad. I should probably buy you some bombs. There you go. 
bomb that. Bomb that. No, but seriously, bomb that. And no, but seriously, bomb that. If you would be so kind, please and thank you. They're... They're probably not all gonna take the same car. I should probably put them... Or maybe I'll just give them more cars. Let's buy some more cars. There. Figure it out. Nah, Nova, I don't think so. Because they'll have to traverse across the entirety of Orange's territory. And I'm much further away from Blue... Uh, Orange than I was from Blue. So I'm not gonna slow him down. It just... Whatever happens, happens. And uh, if we fail to kill Orange this week, don't worry. There'll be another week. We'll be recruiting more people for the meat grinder. And we'll send them in next time. I love how my security team of amazing firearm skills actually not getting involved here. <laughs> okay. That'll be great. Let's go. Let's do it. That's right, we don't send in Port Beale to take out the other mob bosses, damn it. This is where most of my gangsters are coming out to start the day, it seems. Alright, and I'm just gonna disable notifications. I know combat's gonna happen. It's a reality. I get it. Nope. Looks like the police are active over there. Good. <laughs> Good. You go do things, please. It's such a perfect day. <laughs> I'm glad I spent it with you. My folks gotta traverse the damn city. That's okay. They'll be around. <laughs> it might take them until Tuesday to get over here. But they'll get over here. Let's uh, go ahead and tick this up a little bit to two speed. I'm not even gonna bother following, tracking them on the map. They'll get here. Batch of folks pulling out of a speedster right there. It takes an entire day to go across New Temperance, everyone. It's, I know, it's that big of a damn city. It's amazing. Another speedster pulling in. Alright, we got our first squad on the site. On site, that's uh, two folks, I believe, who just did the go to orders. They killed some folks, now they're running away. So as not to attract police attention. I'm gonna put my headset on for this. Let's do this shit. It didn't go off. I don't wanna hear your damn excuses. I saw a bomb get kicked in there. It didn't go off, though. That sounds like quitter talk to me. It didn't go off. God damn it! <laughs> yeah! Some of my gangsters died in the making of this film. Those were highly intelligent bombers, too, I'll have you know. Now my guys who are set to uh, assault that, you know, tenement block are like... There's nothing there, boss! <laughs> yeah, there was a total of four bombs. We didn't actually hear anything back from the fourth bomber. The fourth bomber might have died or might have run away because, like, the objective was completed.
Of course, we did kill some of our gangsters who went in there. Collateral damage, you understand. We're, we're doing the city a favor. <laughs> we're cleaning out the riffraff, you know? Oh, what, you want to go back to your base, buddies? Huh? You guys want to party and throw down? Now, this is an example of people with awful firearms firing here. They have terrible firearm skill. Even with Tommy guns, they're just being tragic. Guns in this game have a maximum range, and they have an effective range. Uh, and <laughs> these wonderful marksmen here are just walking themselves into death. Oh, now that you aggroed the police, you're gonna run? You fucking sons of bitches. You deserve to die. No, no, you kept walking and shooting right until you got to the police, and then you shot at the police, and now you're fucked. You stupid sons of bitches. Come on, man. Of course that happened. I gotta weed out the chaff, the riffraff, you know? No cure for stupid, that's right. So what do you think about this being a criminal hotspot game? Yeah? Uh-huh. Music is so good. Even though there's only four fucking tracks I'm playing. You can move this, by the way. I know, if I sent in the security team, it'd definitely be different. Oh! Huh! I guess the, uh... I guess the other bomber arrived. <laughs> Good work, Chief! good. We've done a good. <laughs> I think my, my time with this week is done. Hello. Now he's not dead. But he will be. We'll, uh, we'll make sure that we burn him out. Overall power rating? Uh-huh. Assets? Mm-hmm. Territory control? Don't you worry. Manpower? Mmm. Yeah, where were all those people to help you? Crimes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I committed a few crimes. I am willing to concede that a few crimes did occur. Uh-huh. That happened, huh? <laughs> Not gonna dispute that. Definitely engaged in some criminal activity. A lot of criminal activity had happened. It transpired. It was a thing. Oh good, the department store still exists. Neat. So how many people died? We'll count oranges first. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. How many people did I lose? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A bobo died. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's not a bobo, it was a bobo. I have multiple bobos. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 22. 24! Net gain! Net gain! <laughs> it transpired, you know. Crime crime did occur. Yes. It was an event. <laughs> we experienced criminal activity together, everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone get in the pool. Get in the pool, everyone. Don't be shy. Get in the pool. Get in the pool. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get in the pool. Let's be happy together. Let's get in the pool. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> oh boy. Good times, good times. Alright. So we own ourselves a newspaper now? No? Maybe they refuse to sell it to us. But that'd be rude. This fool had a dead guy floating in it. Shh. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Let me see if I can actually find the business. We failed. Yeah? Yeah, I guess that's happening, huh? Well, you failed to buy it. They're like, no! He outright controls it. I guess that would be why. Orange outright controls it. It's not just something they're collecting protection money from. Well, I tell you what, Orange. You won't have to worry about controlling that f for much longer. I've got you covered, buddy. I'll take good care of you. Yeah, huh? We have a casino to set up, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and get that set up. It's gonna cost us like 20000 No buying, only selling. It's cool. And now let's go ahead and recruit some more hoods. There's uh, some great deals and amazing rates. Going right now. Opportunities for advancement are high, everyone. We'll just say that. <laughs> we own the docks? We own the docks. We control shipping now. As it should be. And we can recruit there just fine. As it should be. But you get a firework, and you get a firework. Fireworks for everyone. I have some new teams. I think we'll look to see if there's any awesome cool businessmen first. Jelly here is a great shooter. No, no, no amazing, awesome, cool businessman. Got it. Tell you what, you're probably gonna need to bribe. Uh, just keep, just keep the money going to the mayor. Just keep that going. <laughs> keep it going. Didn't we buy the department store? Uh, yeah, we bought it uh, as a way for us to hide our incoming money. But of course, because we keep making purchases, uh, we don't have to worry too much about, you know, <laughs> that being an issue. But yeah, we also bought it so that we can set up a casino behind it. So I can run a casino, which will be awesome. Um, for the most part, yeah. We eliminated blue at the end of last week's session. And so we've... I mean, it looks a little patchwork, but we pretty much got those blocks under control. Oh, yes, yes, Shaman, yes, very much so, yes, <laughs> definitely. Illegal businesses are far more profitable than legal businesses, even for something like the department store. Uh, that only makes $774 of profit. You'll see, uh, the casino will take multiple weeks to set up. I think it takes like three weeks to set up, but uh, it'll be good. And we'll use that money to buy other things. It'll be delicious. Delicious. Trust me. Alright. With that in mind, I think I will actually just start... I don't know whether I'll invest it. Yeah, fuck it. I might as well invest them. Investiture. Come along, Bobo. And Jelly. Freelance there, changed outfits. Stonewall, you're coming along too. And we've raided. We, uh, we organized these folks by firearm skill, although Rhino here is pretty, pretty dumb. Not as sharp as a pound of wet leather. Jackdaw there ain't that much better. Gabby, wanted by the police. Mercy. That'll be good. We have some spare weapons for them. But we're actually not going to give them Tommy Guns. Let's go ahead and buy these twin packs of pistols. We've been, we burned a lot of money on that. Each twin pack of pistol cost 3000 I just spent $30,000 arming these folks with those weapons. That's how much I've invested in this.
So, Jelly Roll, we're going to be saving you for, like, any future bombing we need to do. But you here, with your trash arson skill, well, that's okay. Set orange on fire. I don't want to set the orange on fire. <laughs> yes, I do. Alright everyone, you guys, your mission, should you choose to accept it, and you will accept it. Make no mistake about that, it will be accepted. Yeah, note that those aren't revolvers. Those are absolute beauties of delight and slaughter. Like, close range, shotgun, tommy gun, that's your best bet. For high, for folks with great marksmanship, I would put, you know, depending on the situation, the twin pack of pistols or um, the rifle on them. The rifle, of course, has the longest reach of the entire game. And rifle's also cheaper at 750 a pop. Like, but, but for the pure destructive power, like a bunch of folks equipped with Tommy guns at close range. <laughs> Just absolutely eviscerate shit, but if they're terrible marksmen and it's beyond short range, well, I mean, you saw what happened the last working week. Didn't work out too well for some gangsters. <sighs> Anywho, our goal here is to make sure that orange burns. That's all we care about. That's that's what really matters to me. Orange needs to burn. Fucking someone's phone downstairs. Probably gonna get a content ID match for that. I'm sure the microphone picked that up well enough. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> like, ah, oh, goddammit. Alright, we're gonna station these ten in front while set orange on fire goes in to, well, set the office on fire. And they're actually going to be running in there into whatever security Orange has. They might actually fail. Kind of depends on how many guards he leaves back in there. I might want to send uh, another... Another team of whatever riffraff I've got left. That isn't a value. You! Well, I bombed the tenement block, okay? But the office is untouched. If it had been touched, Orange would be dead. So we're gonna make sure that we, we burn out Orange. You folks, you get a car. Do I have any guns to spare? Sure, grab some guns. And you will make sure. I don't care whether it's done in public view, it will be done. Thy kingdom come. As earth as it is in get fucked. So saith the grim one. Do I feel like buying any more businesses right now other than that casino? Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, kinda need to restock up on money. Yeah, let's let's not go crazy purchase happy. We might make a donation though. Tommy Banks here has been pleading for donations. He really wants a lot of money. We'll do it, though. I'm a nice guy. Good guy, Griffith. Let's go. Another working week is about to commence. See, now that I actually stopped talking about serious topics and got this, this party started, we might, we might actually finish this one within the next... 80-ish minutes. I might even go a bit over. The planned stop time was uh, 6. Of course, we got like a 10-minute late start. And uh, I do have a hard out where at 7, I'm going to be shifting to uh, Lethal Feline's Beam Channel. I'm going to be doing some artwork, and we're going to be hanging out. Some members of the clique. 
Shaman, all I can say is that uh, based on what I know about where development is currently at with the winter update, the memory leak has been fixed. I don't know specifically about that thrumming thing, though. That might be something you should report to Beam. Like, like the help step. Like, hey, here's a screenshot. Or, like, here's a GIF. The fuck is happening here? Like, uh, they're a small enough site still with, like, an attentive enough, like, developing core that they do pay attention to those things. Like, I've talked about before. Like, I know a partner uh, who whose viewers around in the New York area had trouble watching him. Well, it was a problem that Beam could fix with, like, their ingest server. And, uh, the problem was resolved. So you can take heart. Or, you can not take heart. It's up to you. Let's wait for our friends to arrive here on the glorious day of Tuesday. We might not succeed, but even if we don't, we'll have another day. Here we go. First gangsters arriving on the scene with the go-to command. I believe they're just going to set up shop and uh, look around. Or they might be the folks I've sent to try and burn this damn office to the ground. Ah. <laughs> the hell you've been arrested? <laughs> They're like, well, we're gonna return to base now. <laughs> I don't feel like doing anything. Oh. I'm not hearing a lot of success here, folks. Disappointed in you guys. They're like, ah, we were gonna be arrested. Ah. They might have been some folks I was sending in here to set this place on fire. Disappointed. After all, I paid them. They do this shit to me. Folks better get together and stop running away. You need to look over around this place. I'm hearing a distinct lack of torching here, folks. Yeah, that wasn't ending any... That wasn't ending well at all for the police. No chance. Distinct lack of victory. Orange still must have a lot of manpower. But damn it, I exposed that office building. So there's that at least. At least we have that. Arrested. What the fuck ever. Arrested. Just random screams of horror and slaughter. These guys are also doing a reasonable job uh, with their high intelligence of picking out members of Orange's gang and quickly eviscerating them. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to behold. Of course, this is on speed two right now. Is that guy gonna get away? Oh, he might. He's getting away. Now we're gonna be kited into some damn police. No, maybe not. This is what happens, like, whenever you actually invest the high firearm skill people. Police are around here investigating what's going on. You're like, hmm. This seems problematic, you know? There's been a lot of death around here over the past day or two. What's happening? fine. Oops. Press the go back to headquarters button. Hey, police. They're just scoping it out. They're gonna find witnesses. They're gonna do detective work. You know. It's cool. Now, keep in mind that the opinions of the individual police officers are being influenced by my bribes on the police chief, who is in turn being influenced by 
my bribes on the mayor. So long as they're not directly witnessing shit happening in front of them, they're fairly alright. Alright, so this looks like a bust this week. The folks we sent in just got wrecked. We got derailed a little bit, that's okay. There will always be another week. Just gonna slide this off again. There will always be more bodies to throw into the future for us. <laughs> These guys are still just fleeing in terror. <laughs> Whatever. I can't care about every peasant I recruit, you know? It's a struggle. And a member of Green over here. That's that's fair, that's reasonable. Green has uh, certainly been spared the axe because I've been burning uh, orange so severely. Uh, so uh, the fight between orange and green has largely subsided because orange has effectively been taken out of the fight. Even though they still have plenty of territory and assets around, I've neutralized the main hub. It's hard for them to conduct business when I keep fucking killing everyone who wants to conduct business. Like, if Orange's gangsters try to arrive back to base early, I just smoke them. Oh, now you go in there. This squad at the end of, like, the week. I think it's too late. Oh, well. Everyone has to clock out. The spider employs 100 hoods to maintain control. It does, does it? That's right, civic leaders rejoicing in how great and good I am. Indeed. Suspicion. Actually hasn't accelerated for Orange like I thought it would by revealing the base. He committed a lot of crimes that week, too. Manpower. We're starting to burn through um, Orange's reserves. Green. Now that their units are no longer being killed by Orange or the police, has uh, rapidly increased in numbers as well. We've lost quite a few assets due to all the purchases we've been making. Setup? That's that's certainly what I expected. A pirate there is in charge of the casino. We've just got our our illegal businesses disguised well. Or maybe not that well anymore now that all of the <laughs> the places have been shut down that were acting as fronts. Uh, but that said, um, the FBI has been executing raids to shut down some sites. It just so happens that it hasn't been any of ours, which is great. How are the businesses doing? Moonshine still, prize fighting ring, the counterfeit press, of course, which just disseminates money to uh, my other businesses. That speakeasy there, it's active. Another moonshine still. We'll be setting up that second speakeasy pretty soon, and that'll get rid of all the extras we've gotten. The extra booze. So that'll be nice. We also have a warehouse that we filled out with booze. Although we've actually sold that booze. We've gotten rid of that booze. We don't have to worry about that too much anymore. Alright, and this is making us profit down here. Good. Hey there, Lee. Take care, Lysander. <sighs> Boy. Oh well. Legal proceedings, folks wanted for various crimes, you know. Can't be that big of a deal, right? Eh, Mimi there. Mimi's wanted? <laughs> Mimi's dead. <laughs> Police, I, I hate to break the bad news, but Mimi no longer exists. Just throwing that one out there. Alright, made some profit. That's nice. That's good. I like profit. 
All of you hoods, you get recruited. Want a dead or alive, so you know. I'm not saying, I'm just kidding. Well. Hi, Paul. Okay. Baltimore. <laughs> oh no, Maze Mouse. <laughs> Tragic. Well, we got a we got a number of good business people now. Hmm. I like it. I like it. We can do shit with this business. Particularly with Highball there. I might send him to run the casino. Ah, that sounds like micromanaging effort. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like me caring. I don't know whether I want to care. Money Boss too here actually lost a uh, lost a hood. We'll give you this hood. And I'm gonna send you back to doing some stuff. You go back to collecting my money, damn it. This is important. Money is serious business, even if I'm not charging them much. Oh, we actually couldn't hear her sass mouth me. I didn't give her too much. No. We did lose some of our members of investiture. A pity. Several others are wanted by the police, of course. We invested in them, and, uh... Well, these others, like, stats here, aren't as good at the whole process. Okay. We'll mix it up here. Give you a car. Three cars. Now, seriously, please, seriously, I need this torched. This office needs to be torched. It's not a joke. I need to burn. Right now, I'm positive. Burn it down. Do it again and again. Keep burning. Burn out the day. Burn out the night. Burn it all the time. Just go burn. Please. I beg of you. Go burn it. You'd be doing me a favor. And I like favors. You. Full of these people. That I have just chosen to assign. We have so many hoods in jail. Yes, Scorpion. Change outfits. I don't care. I'm spending so much money on guns now. Here, you have this mix of guns. You burn that down. Keep burning it down. Still burn that down. So many guns being lost. It is a tragedy. There's three cars. You can probably do it. I have faith in you. Who else is not being recruited? The rest of you can just stay at home. You. Change my mind. You get a car. You get two bombs. And a pistol. Bomb this. If you can. If you can't. That's okay. I don't care. Kill him. Please. Griffith would be very happy if that transpired. And you want to make Griffith happy because he pays you. Yes, he does. <laughs> hmm. We'll buy this large... Oh, ah, shit. I probably shouldn't buy more businesses right now. Kind of low on cash. 
we'll buy this hotel, and I guess the business side can just take a damn break. Take a load off their feet. We don't have any more alcohol to export anymore. It's all being used up by the speakeasies. And we're good. And probably the casino as well. I think the casino consumes alcohol whenever it eventually gets set up. Might have set up another moonshine still. Let's prepare like I'm gonna have to set up another moonshine still. Hello, Spade Plays. Hello. How's it going? The Abattoir. No, you got um. But a perfume store. Good. Would a cafe work? No, not for this so much. Alright, we'll buy a perfume store. We'll put a moonshine still behind it. That should keep us alive. Well, thankfully, the year is still young. And you're so beautiful. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright, security team. Hopefully everything gets done that I want to have done, and we'll, uh, we'll succeed, and there'll be happy days for everyone. If not, I guess we'll get fucked. So much for, uh, me actually finishing with this damn game. I think this is actually will end up being what I broadcast on Friday. Just finish the game. Hell, maybe we'll finish Mech Ace then, too. Probably not, though. Of course, tomorrow is going to be a, an odd day. I'm going to be doing two separate broadcasts. Once, one's going to be in the early morning, and one's going to be later that night. I'm going to be trying out a Space Hulk Deathwing with a uh, another person who broadcasts on Beam, a Rocket Bear. He does some art stuff. He, he plays uh, a few games. He plays Astroneer. I've seen him play Deathwing. We'll try that out. He invited me to do so, and so I picked up the game. I was like, sure, what the hell, I'll try it. He's in the Warhammer stuff. 40k more specifically. Huh. I don't want to hear huh. I want to hear victory. Don't you hmm me. You go into that damn office and you set it on fire. Don't you get into a firefight with the police. You set a fire. I want to see success. I want to hear results. I want to hear burning. You go in there, and you burn it. Burn it. A lot of fisticuffs happening right now. I'm not hearing success. I'm hearing disappointment. Fucking police. <sighs> Damn, he's got a lot of security in there. Far more so than blue. I thought I would be able to get this done. I stand corrected. Stand corrected. I guess I just need to keep draining orange of resources, then. Right, this team has wheeled its way back around the try again. I think they're gonna try again. That's more failures and deaths as people just getting, like, fisticuff matches in there. There's so much close quarters combat. It's like the guns I'm giving them ain't fucking mattering, and instead it's based on their fist skill. I'm actually not 100% sure what variables go into that indoors combat. Could be knives, could be fists. Could actually be firearms. Could be the guns you bring in. Beats me. 
book doesn't say. <sighs> All right. Well, son of a bitch. I tried. Sometimes your best just isn't good enough, folks. Well, we certainly stymied orange, and we pretty much did put the orange-green war to a to a grind, to a halt. But this isn't quite the results I wanted. I expected to fucking swoop in here and defeat orange. And there was a distinct- well, there was swooping. There was definitely swooping. Cannot argue. There was swoop. There was much swoop. No results, though. Does he have another office I don't fucking know about, you wonder? I'd have to check it start of next week. There's a speedster there, but it's probably not parked there because it's an office. Besides, I already have that building explored. It's not the results I want. I want orange dead. I want to see... I want to see Orange's, you know, shriveled up, burnt body, and know that I am king. We blew up the tenement block. We didn't actually deal with the office. No, Jelly Roll. Why, Jelly, why? I'm actually losing, losing power rating now. Sad. I'm also fucking completely, like, wrecked my save schedule. I don't think I even saved last week. But whatever. Week 36, too. God damn it. These are not the results I desire. My manpower. How the hell is Orange getting more people? How am I not killing all these people? God damn it! Orange! <laughs> Mayor fucking threatening to bring down the damn hammer on everyone again. Everyone get in the pool. Money Boss 2 team again getting into a fucking. <laughs> Firefight. The mayor is being paid off not to care. That's that's what's happening here. Jelly roll, you will be missed, Jelly. They were so jelly of your skill. You were so beautiful. They took you away from us. Oh, wait, stay jelly. Yeah, I think Orange is just fucking not gonna help me. Fuck this. But he supposedly has so many damn hoods. Maybe they're coming out of another office. That would be tragic. I'd have to go find that too. God, effort. No, I hate applying myself. Stop it. Please. <laughs> Please. I don't want to apply myself. Please, sir, don't make me apply myself. Tenement block? What? My department store is gone. The hell do you mean, empty land? My department store is gone. My department store can't just up and teleport into the ether. Can't just go, woo, here's my dinner. <laughs> department stores don't just fucking vanish. What the shit? I spent over $50,000 for that department store. Nope, it's gone. <sighs> this fucking game.
I'm getting annoyed now. <laughs> No more collecting protection money. No more. Stop. Here we go. This is it. <laughs> no more recruiting hoods. No, we're done. Business team is the only team that gets to remain active. This is ending. Anyone great with firearms? You. This ends. War has gone on too damn long, and I have another war to be fighting to fucking deal with this shit. I don't even know whether I want to give you guys any guns. Here, have have this. Security, whatever. That's fine. We 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 did this. We flipped the switch whenever we went to kill Blue, and damn it. This is happening again. How is his suspicion not ticking up? Like, that has to be his only office. Mm. Stilts. Don't even care about naming your damn team. Care has ceased. All of you. Yes, change outfits if you must. I'm, su I'm supporting all these damn hoods who are in prison. A nice guy. Probably gonna result in uh, me trying to torch that uh, the tenant block. It's probably gonna be like a rejected offer. Like, no, you know that building's definitely been dealt with, boss. I'm like, ah, oh, fine. Send in that last batch. I'm sure this ends. If there is anyone you can kill in there, you kill them. I'm sure. And then burn it. Money boss too. If there is seriously anyone you can kill in here, go kill them. Go kill whoever's in there with all of the firepower you have at your disposal, and then burn it. Same goes for you. Security team... You're gonna keep an eye on everything. I'm, I'm reluctant to send him the danger. No, you're not gonna keep an eye on everything. You're gonna go in there, and you're gonna make sure they're dead. Whoever's in there, they're gonna get fucked. You do whatever it takes, security team. You're my damn security team. Fix it. And don't come back until you do, and then you burn the son of a bitch to the ground. I want to hear roasting fire this week, guys. Roast it. I don't care whether it's in public. I don't care how many police there might be. You fucking burn it. This is getting burned. I have faith in you, Razor. Members of my damn security team, this is getting burned. You will, you will succeed, damn it. Or you will know the name of the king.
Look at these police. The police chief uh, assigns patrols of officers at uh, the start of every week. So if you get in his good graces, he'll stay away from your territory. That's right. I don't care what you have to use. I don't care how this goes. I know. My fucking business is. My department store. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fuck your uh-oh. Oh no, we killed someone! Better run from the cops! Don't put your guns away! Own this block! Own it! Go to! Own it! Don't you run for me. I can't select my other guy in there. Own it. I don't care what you're going back to. Don't you sure me. Own it. Hello. Okay. Okay.
at this point, I don't know whether the game's sound effects are just fucking with me or not. Let's check to see people who might be alive. There's not that many who are alive. The hell do you mean you've been arrested? I don't want to hear your excuses. Where are you at? What the hell is that? Oh, you ran far. Don't you get arrested. I don't want to have another person fucking on the damn payroll doing nothing. You guys? Where the hell are you at? We're at the police station? You ran down that far? Okay. So I'm gonna chalk this up to a mission failure then by the entire fucking red gang. Damn, there must be like Macaulay Culkin in there and they booby trapped the place. Sure thing. See, and you were gonna go get arrested. You piece of sure trash. Thing. Now, I had a arson team set to burn down the tenement block, which I think is what transpired there. Now, if they set the office on fire while everyone is in there, it's possible that everyone died while they were in there. I'm not exactly sure. If they all died, it would be unfortunate, but we could rebuild. Even though we'll be missing the security team. And the game is still trying to process all the death. That's the ideal outcome. The worst outcome would be if this all hasn't been burnt and ruined, and then I still have to rebuild the security team. Oh, hey, there's some folks arriving. A lot of business happening around here. No. No, you don't run away. You stay there. I hate that fleeing through the city street shit that you gangsters do. You fucking stay there. You have more than enough skill and firepower to take down whoever comes out that door. Or in that door. Like, I don't even care, man. You do not get arrested. Everyone who gets arrested in my gang doesn't do anything good. We saw those police officers walk in there, too. Yeah, they're leaving. Just another busy day in the neighborhood, you know? <laughs> and then he died right at the end. <laughs> kidding me right now are you fucking kidding me right now Alright, I fucking did my part. <laughs> the rest is up to you, Green. For fuck's sakes. Did my damn part. Can't help. Can't help here anymore. Fucking just about every damn buddy is dead. <laughs> we don't have any recruits out this turn. What are we looking at here? <sighs> What's left in the tank? How many people actually did die, orange-wise? 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 20, 22! That wasn't worth it at all. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20! Okay. Anyone really great at organization who's also good at firearms? I think I just got like an intelligence in firearms. We just sort by firearms. I think Klondike's our best leader for security. Fuck. Okay. Alright, Klondike it is. I guess I've played the guild too. I don't see much similarity between the two games. I'm certainly not managing a family dynasty here. Which is I'm managing a fucking headache! Don't you change outfits, Klondike. I liked you just the way you were. Okay. Now we need some more high intelligence hoods just to act as a recruitment force. And we'll replace them with folks who are good with firearms a bit later. Okay, um... Yeah, that went bad. I, I concede. I got nothing. And I'm fucking... I'm fucking tapped. That's all I had. That's the best I can do. I guess I should have just kept them locked out and tried to starve them out of resources and prevented some of them from escaping. Even though it does take me until like Wednesday to get over there because this damn base is so far away. <sighs> Shit. I guess we will just win through mayor mayoral election because damn! That was disappointing. There's not enough time left in today's session for me to take down orange and green now. No. Definitely not. Okay. Um, you, home run. Money team. In theory, you are going to handle some financing for me. We haven't visited our, our folks that we collect protection money from in a week. I'm sure they're probably fine, and uh, they'll totally be happy to give us money again. We're not going to give these guys any guns. How much of the city can you do? Because I don't think I have enough to outfit a full second squad here. We'll just do the north side of the city again, and whoever's left can do the south. Who is left? A bunch of stupid gangsters. Tell you what, gloves? Gloves. We're gonna kick you back to full. We can't handle that much. Yes, you can. Believe in yourself. Or I'll kill you. <laughs> Believe in yourself or I'll kill you. Wise words from Grimmouth. Money too. Yes, I meant to write T-double-O there. Because they are also doing money. Alright, let's try this again. All of this, do what you can. I know you won't get all this, no matter how much you might believe you can. And you... Give you three cars. I doubt you'll need them. Collect what you can from over here. Because, uh, Daddy's gonna have to rebuild the, uh, the money train. I can only do this much. Okay. Business team. Handle exporting from there? Uh, maybe try and set up another illegal business. What would I want to put behind a large hotel? 
don't think I thought that far. I think I just wanted it. Could put another speakeasy. Could put another casino. We could just own it. Until it gets destroyed or burned down. Could build another whorehouse. Well, it seems like a waste to put that behind a uh, large hotel. Now, what the hell? Whorehouse. No, no, paper, come back. I said come back! <laughs> I know, right, Spade Plays? I know. It's, uh, it is, it is a tragedy. There have been, there have been better things happening. There have been worse things happening. All in all, we're not doing that awfully. We'll just, we'll just run for mayor and probably win mayor, okay? I'll, uh, have this city in the palm of my hand. I've lost a few percentage points, but, uh, that's okay. I'll just have to concede that I'm not able to burn orange out. We'll have to fall another way. It's a good thing I have, I have enough hoods here to fucking actually recruit some more, though. Rest in peace is my army. Rest in pieces. I need to win this game before the Popo comes after me or some shit. Oh, wait, please. We still have Kirby there on payroll. Good work, Kirb. You're alive still. Are these current guys wanted by the police? No. What a novel concept. Let's get to it. I will re-enable alerts for that. We'll just see where the road takes us. casino. We'll be done setting up in a bit, of course. This is just entirely empty land around there now. It doesn't look empty, does it? No. Like, the building's still there. I don't know where the hell my business is going. Feels as if the AI is using exploits here. I might start, like, ninjing <laughs> their, their shit out from under them. <laughs> just a Victor orange. Oh, this is my base now. Whatever. Alright, Orange, you beat me back. I couldn't pineapple your base. I pineappled the tenement block, but now you're not your real life legit base. I concede for now. You got me. We're gonna have to rebuild. Where was he spotted? The FBI are raiding my site. Oh no! The FBI are raiding my large hotel? Huh. Maybe that's what's been shutting down all my places. The FBI. Huh. They're shutting down my legal businesses? That can't be right. Like, there's not even a legal business behind there. They're not... But they're not shutting down my illegal businesses. What? That doesn't make sense. Oh no, my large hotel, no. I'm like, eh, legal business, fuck it. The FBI are incorruptible. Huh. This is what happens whenever you have this shit muted. You miss out on messages, because that's gangsters and police. Now I could set this to mute like various like gang messages too. But uh there's probably been some other notifications. We'll have to see at the end of the week. Like they raided my plays. Ah. Fascinating. Again, there's there's no legal business there. Like I just bought that a little bit ago. I'm buying the land back there, but there's nothing there. Rude! Maybe someone doing something dodgy is staying there. Any other cars concentrated? Like, there's a car next to this block again. The speedster there. Fucking annoyed. 
Well, the tax evasion should send them after me, not after my large hotel I just bought. Like, I am somewhat familiar with what the instruction manual that I've read numerous times says. And I do have my past experiences of playing this game, although it has been quite some years since my last time I went through this. The game really does feel like it's changed since then, but... Hmm. I mean, I've, I've, I've played the game updated before. Yeah, I updated it using, like, it was fucking, like, M player or whatever the fuck? I forget what the multiplayer service Gangsters Organized Crime had back in the day. <sighs> Fuck it. Crime in America has doubled. FBI raid closes down a legal operation on Paxson Street between Grant Road and Plymouth Road. I wonder whether this is between Grant Road and Plymouth Road. It's empty now. They shut down my illegal large hotel. So all those notifications about the FBI, like, raids shutting down buildings, and I've been like, ah, all my legal businesses are fine. They're shutting down my legal businesses. The F... This is like inverse world FBI, where instead of shutting down illegal stuff, they're shutting down legal stuff. That's not how they're supposed to work. Like, I prefer them in this bizarro world fucking shit, because the illegal businesses are far more profitable. Why? <laughs> I just bought it! So, no, it hasn't been people raiding me. It's been, it hasn't been other games, it's been the FBI that shut down my damn fronts and then does nothing. Like, well, those fronts shut down, carry on. Ah, that must be what it is, pure black haze. Yes, that makes perfect sense. What the shit? What is this bizarre world? kick out another bribe. Whatever, I mean, we're still fucking making money. Head over fist, whatever. Sure, okay. <laughs> Never went good before. Anyone worthy enough to join the security team, though? You are. Um, what the hell? Why is this all, like, completely resorted? You need to get to the pool. We'll kick you in there. All right, we need some more folks. Any business people? Any business mind? Ooh. Arson. Five stealth, four and a half stars with arson. Four and a half stars at intelligence and organization. Great arsonist. Serviceable businessman. I guess we're gonna keep buying more legal businesses so that they can be raided. So my illegal businesses continue to make money for me. What is this world? Fucking strange game. Okay. Well, fine. Shut down my department store, root bastards. Meh. I won't do anything anyway. Meh. Ah, shit. Export whatever spare alcohol there is. You should be ready to rake in the money now at this casino. We will be ready. Our bodies are so ready. What else do I want to do with you? really have anything else that I need to do with you guys. 
keep buying more businesses to be deleted. I guess I'll buy more businesses to keep being deleted. So the FBI has something to do with their lives. Why not, right? I care. I care about the FBI and their needs. Is there a tenement block over here I can purchase to add another office? There sure is. Let's do that then. Maybe I should just be a slum lord. <sighs> Can't have me selling groceries. I'm not using my legal business to launder money. Uh, they're not being used to launder. What instead is that the legal income is hiding my illegal income by like all the like the intake I have. The legal businesses are also fronts for my legal businesses to like disguise them and hide them, but they're not laundering money per se. They are legit businesses. Like, you know, the department store. Like, it's not the department store that's the problem, it's the casino behind it. The FBI has targeted the fucking department store instead of the casino behind it. They should be shutting down the damn casino behind it. And since all these fronts no longer exist, in theory, my suspicion should be through the damn roof. It's not. I have not lost in legal business this entire playthrough. Despite us being 38 weeks into this game. Not lost a single one, despite all the raiding that's happened. Does this bank still exist? It still exists, even though it's been closed forever due to Blue, I think, being rude. Fucking bizarro world, man. No, don't go that far, Spade Plays. Don't go that far. The fact that Orange still has that much manpower also still annoys me. Arrgh. I did so much. I tried so hard. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether I wanted to go with Evanescence or Linkin Park there with that. So I just stopped. I was like, I don't know. Fuck it. We got anyone with decent organization and intelligence laying around who can be like a money team? Warren. Wade. Wade Warren. I like the name, Wade Warren. I think I'd like Warren Wade more, though. Whatever. I'm not here to judge your name, peasant. Who am I kidding? I am here to judge your name. You're money three, I reckon. Let's start kicking out the, the dumb people. I said, the dumb people. I don't think I need a money three, but it happened. You'd buy audiobooks read by me? Well, there is someone who got a complete reading of Neuromancer by me. That was a, uh, a special, special case example, though. Of course, has not been shared publicly. That was a private purchase. Also, I'm pretty sure there's already audiobooks or neuromancer out there. Wouldn't want to impugn upon legitimate business. Uh, that... Yes, I, uh... But that's not a full-fledged novel like Neuromancer is. My Immortal was just this... horrifyingly delightful fanfic thing that, uh... Revocane, uh, and I bartered with, and he asked me to read, uh, that I did so in late 2012, and he, uh, cut it up and uploaded it to his YouTube channel. I was actually talking about that in Revocane's Discord chat a few days ago. I was, like, going through old MP3 files of mine on, a uh, flash drive, and I found those, and I was like, yeah, I did this. Yeah, that hurt. Tiny shopkeeper wanted me to fucking read Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I was like, dude, you can't pay me enough to fucking... No, I... No. No, I'm, I'm not going through the entire series. He was like, fine, what will you read? So, Neuromancer was the thing. Now, I know you probably think you can cover all this. And that's gonna be bullshit, so just don't cover that. In Money 3... 
So I'm going to assign three cars and take care of this. Uh, we need to rebuild the uh, the hood base now. Also, make sure that they're not paying the the standard fare. All these folks lit up as if they're paying the normal prices. I want them to pay reduced prices. Because that's how nice of a guy I am. Wish it would default here to low instead of normal, but there you go. I can't just set an overall switch. I have not read the Song of Ice and Fire stuff. It's I know stuff about the lore, but just not really a universe that has interested me that much. Although I did roleplay in it. Uh, in 2015 through 2016, uh, I played in a campaign uh, set about two centuries before uh, the start of the primary Game of Thrones uh, saga. That was pretty enjoying, but just not lore that I much care for. Don't have any spare hoods? Alright, good. Is that all I want to do with business? As the air gets let out of the balloon. Um, do I want to try setting up more illegal businesses that are going to be fucking at least their front shut down anyway? I mean, I got the money. I guess. Let's see. Is there a drugstore I can purchase? There sure is. All right, go ahead and buy that drugstore. We will stick a moonshine behind that. Now, are there any convenience stores? Sort of, sort of. That's more on the commercial side of things, though. And we'll put another speakeasy behind that. Yes. Okay. That should take care of business affairs for me. Now we will finally end the turn. Now Chad has something to talk about. The Song of Ice and Fire stuff. Exciting. Just go ahead and tick through the days here, or tick through the time. If something interesting pops up that isn't a failed order, we'll be slowed down. Now I'm barely illuminated by the light of my monitor. Darkness, Grimoth. This is my natural state. <laughs> is there even any crime taking place around here? Not really, no. My raid on Orange pretty much slowed down the Orange and Green War. Like, Green's licking their wounds, Orange is licking their wounds. I'm licking my wounds. I still haven't really assigned any direct defenders to my shit. I haven't done that since, uh, I won my War Blue. I mean, I'm so far away, right? <laughs> I think uh, once I restock uh, my uh, my hood base, I am going to uh, have uh, guards set up again. Although my legal businesses barely fucking exist anymore, so what the hell would even be the point, right? Alright, some hoods are under attack down here. Uh, there's been some fighting and warfare. Sure. Tragic. What's going on here? Recruiting. Ah. Uh, we're also wanted by the police. Fuck you, police. Huh. I was like, why the hell are the, do I have hoods down here? Like, are they like the protection money hoods? No, those were folks who were recruiting. Well, that's a shame that I want uh, one of the one of the security people is wanted by the police. Oh well. It's just nice to not have I blue in my fucking face money. anymore. Okay. That's nice. Poor 
All right, another busy, exciting work week draws to a close. The Good Life. FBI claim that I have 500 grand stashed away. Shh. Don't go around telling everyone that, damn it. Don't be spreading the word, man. I don't have that much money stashed away. Lion sack of shit, FBI. Come on, man. if there's too many casinos in the city. Or I wonder if somehow the department store breaking has caused my casino to land with a thud. Ten dollars in profit from my fucking casino that cost like 50k for the department store plus like another 20k for the casino itself plus three plus weeks of startup time. I'm not impressed. That's gotta be the most disappointing casino I've ever built. Huh. Welp. Welp. <laughs> Disappointed. You know what? Go ahead and just kick a bribe to the courthouse. What the hell? <laughs> good week. Good week. Yep, good week. Mm -hmm. Absolutely great week. I like the part where I was fucking sad and depressed. Good luck finding these lots of land, Grimace. You remember that one? Where was the other lot of land? I know, that's a joiners. Here? Alright. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I see you an export, whatever alcohol there is to spare. And, uh, new gangsters. Get in the pool. Who do we got here for firearms? Ah, oh, that's pretty damn disappointing. Bunch of trash. Trash. And now half of you are wanted by the fucking police. Because we got into a fight. Ah, damn it. Why can't we have nice things? My poor security team. Now they are sullied. Oh, we got trash now. Yuck. We're finally running out of good genetics, everyone. I guess I'm gonna have to start plugging in people, again, who are terrible at firearms, but have some intelligence to them. Because intelligence matters for recruiting. You're not a bad businessman, but I think I'm good on business right now. Um, I haven't... Swipe gaming, I haven't. The latest news I've gotten for Kohler Goal was actual goals, because uh, Larian yesterday told me he got his uh, postcard, and El Taco Lab today told me he got his postcard. Uh, that's uh, my postcards to Latvia and uh, Canada that have arrived. Still waiting to hear from Dion from the Russian Federation and uh, Ozzy from Australia. Security team, I guess. Just fucking go back to recruiting. You gotta rebuild the gene pool here, man. Get to breeding. You are licensed to breed now. <laughs> Promise. Hopefully we don't get into another damn fight here at this place. I tell you what, I'm just gonna say no. Don't bother with there. Ah. Okay, so I have a number of hoods staying in the office. They can act as guards even though they're wanted by the police. Anyone else? You can lead up a cruddy team. 
cruddy team devoted to crud. Oh, whoa, excuse me. My bad. This is bad. Gold rush. Oh. I didn't bother to sort people by business because I didn't think I'd have more business people. Here we are. You'd be changing outfits now, Arizona. Okay. This team can devote itself to disappointing and making me sad. You'll be called... Money for... And we're gonna actually have you take a few cards and see if you can extort a few more blocks now that, uh... Now that everything's been cleared up around here, yeah? Now that we've educated some people, we can welcome them into the fold, yeah? Clean up some of this ugly border gore we've got going on here. I'd appreciate that if you... If you could, and... Just don't let anyone squeal on us now, because... I wouldn't want to have to blow anyone up. We can all be friends. Why can't we be friends? Postcard is sitting on your shelf right now next to a picture your niece drew of you. All right. Did I see that Kenny Omega match? No, no, I hadn't watched uh, all the wrestling stuff that came out. I didn't watch Wrestle Kingdom. I, um, there's something else I missed that I can't even remember the name of. Missed, uh, missed the wrestling stuff for the new year. Some would say that's a tragedy. Uh, the FBI target, in theory, illicit businesses. Uh, and they will also target you, the gang leader, directly. Uh, but police officers, if they do see folks who are wanted by the law, will try to arrest them. And your ma gangsters, for whatever reason, will by default just, okay, let me be arrested instead of trying to gun down the police and fight for their lives. Like, trying to get your gangsters back... Um, like, if you have a gangster that goes to prison in this game, they're just effectively out of the game. I'm not sacking them because that would reduce, uh, loyalty, and, you know, since they're no longer supported by me, they might tattle on me. I'm just, like, citing stuff from the instruction manual. So, with that in mind, I'm just kind of, like, keeping them loitering around. I would rather them fight for their lives and die, in part so they don't clutter up my damn pool. This is a game that's available on GOG, not on Steam. Not to my knowledge. But if you were really curious, you, you know, want to check that, you can look the game up yourself. They can't squeal, they're dead. Yes. They can't tattle on me. Some events happen. Dead. That's Arizona though down there. Hmm. All right. There's some green gangsters here that are continuing to crawl around. That's tragic. That guy's just running for his life. No. Hmm. Well, if that happened. Swan here. An orange gangster. I hadn't given these money team guns. I was hoping that police might be around and uh, get drawn into like a protracted firefight. This looks like dead across the bridge there. Hmm. I see. I wonder if orange and green have ended their war. They might have, uh, agreed to cease hostilities whenever I suddenly got involved and wrecked Orange as hard as I did. Although it doesn't look like much of a wrecking. I kind of spent it all to try and delete Orange's office there, and it just failed. But we got to hear a sweet cacophony of people dying. That was pretty fun. Disappointing, but ultimately fun. No, I'm not sitting on a rocking chair. This is a hardback plastic chair. The Good Life. 
not as good as mine. Well, we've got a bit more control of the city, at least. I think it's probably because I've taken control of a few more territory blocks. Looks like it. Never so slightly and marginally. Not that it really matters. That whorehouse also isn't doing as good as I thought it would. We might be oversaturating the whorehouse market, or maybe folks just aren't that damn interested in going there. That whorehouse is also being less profitable. Hmm. Upsetting. Losing money with the radio station. It's like the Empire is just slowly crumbling around me, everyone. At least the speakeasy is still making nice amount of cash. That fucking casino. Yeah, seeing as how green and orange aren't fighting each other, I might have effectively ended the war between them. I don't know. Beats me. We got a shit ton of money in the safe, at least. Despite everything, we're doing alright. Ah. There's a lot of potential judges who might be overseeing these cases and DAs to get access to witness lists. I only bribe one judge. Let's go ahead and kick some more money to the police chief again. Uh, as for the rest of this, I think I'll kind of save this fiddling for next time. I thought it'd be much closer to ending the game uh, this session. Was that of mine? I'm not sure whether I will play this on Friday. I might not even do anything on Friday. I still haven't decided. Seeing as how I will be doing some broadcasting stuff on Wednesday, and I would like some time to do local recordings as well. I mean, in theory, we've kind of made some progress. <laughs> we've we've bought, bought more businesses. We've solidified our asset control compared to orange and green. But, uh... Kind of sputtered out here to a halt. I guess I'm just kind of like waiting for the damn election to kick in. So, uh, maybe I'll win the game that way. Because what the hell was that shit that just happened there with orange? Disappointing. Disappointing indeed. But that can wait for another time. At least we kind of figured out the mystery for why all of these businesses are vanishing. Well, how they're vanishing. I don't know why the FBI is targeting them, though. Hello, Von Grimm. Welcome to the end of the broadcast. <laughs> yep. Alright, YouTube. That takes care of the local recording. We'll play this later. We'll see the adventures then.